What's up guys, it's boy Jay from JS Films, and like promised, I'm gonna be making another tutorial on the Avengers Infinity Wars disintegration effect. Now, today we're gonna use a plugin called Particular. If you don't have Particular, go check it out. You know, you can download the trial version of this. So let's go ahead and head into After Effects 2018 here. We're gonna go to Windows Workspace, and we're just gonna reset it so that everybody looks the same. We set all panels, right? Pretty sure that's what it is. This is 18. I haven't really worked in here as much. So I was gonna do all panels and then everything should look like this, right? And what we're gonna do is just get our footage now. So we go to desktop, new folder. We're gonna grab these two footage and I'm gonna explain what these uh, footage are. So this first one is just a green screen footage of Rice Man. And you're gonna see here uh, the setup, there's no lighting, you can tell. I just opened the window on the left side and the right side. The left side is just cracked a little bit, so there, there's contrast. Then the right side is open the whole way up, and there's no background lights or anything like that. I kept it really simple, and we're just going to go over, you know, you already saw it if you haven't, check it out. But yeah, I'm going to go over there. Just great acting, great, just great acting. And this is what we're going to work with. Now, to make this simple, we have to export this thing out, keyed out, uh, as a transparent, that has a transparent background. Because when you start pre-composing -comp layers like this, it gets really messy. So the first thing we have to do is key this out, export it with transparency, and then bring it back to After Effects. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm just going to go ahead and make the cut that I want. I'm going to start right here, click on, or type Alt. Begin bracket, this is going to trim the footage. Click Alt Home, that's going to press the footage to the beginning of your timeline. And we're going to scroll to, let's just do 20 seconds to this, and I'm just making the timeline smaller here. God, that is great acting. So let's do right there. Oh, perfect. Alt and bracket, and we're going to trim this composition by right clicking, composition settings. And we're going to trim this to just 19 seconds is fine. Zero, zero. You know, just reset that to zero. Um, defaults to one. All right, so we're shooting. I shot this at 3840 by 1600. But just for the sake of this, we're going to shrink this to 10 uh, to uh, HD. So we're going to go to composition, composition settings, 3840. So for the right aspect ratio of 2.4, we're going to go with 1920 by 800 and that should do it score pixels is fine 24 frames per second is good and i should shrink it like that and we're just going to scale it down right click on the footage transform fit to comp or control alt f boom just like that zoom in i'm going to change this to half because we're going to be doing some keying so let's go ahead and key this out we're going to do we're going to scroll forward to when he stretches his hand so we know where to cut off right i think that's the furthest right there so what we're gonna do is just do a garbage mat oh that's a shape layer that's not what we want delete that click on the footage create a garbage mat here get closer i mean if you had a bigger green screen that's perfect okay so let's do a dirty garbage mat here you know, let's give some more some leeway there. Control Zing it. Let's create a garbage mat around. And I didn't really move. Now when you're shooting this effect, make sure you kind of see how I'm stretching my arms out like that. Try to separate your arm or whatever you're trying to do first or trying to get rid first as far away from your body as possible. This is gonna sell the effect a little bit more. So let's go ahead and do this. And let's close that out. Get this tool. It's gonna close this loop here so it doesn't look sharp. So that's great, man. That's gonna be probably gonna be my my thumbnail. Uh, go ahead and click that, and we're gonna to go to effect keying. We're gonna do key light. We're gonna do a dirty keying here, guys. All right. We're gonna to go to final result. We're gonna to go to combine mat, and as you can see, that's pretty filthy. We're gonna clean that up right now. The background looks great considering there was no background light at all. That's just amazing. So what we're gonna do is go to screen mat. Uh, Pre-blur, I'll probably do it one. Uh, let's see here. 
and the clip white this is where we want everything so what you're trying to do is just clipping white so the inside is pure white and if you start to see weird stuff on the outside like this go to your clip back clip black and that should do the trick okay and the replace method, I usually do hard color. And let's go ahead and do, see what that looks like. Uh, I don't know if hard color, let's go with source. That's a lot better. Now, like I said, that's a really, really rough key. I'm not gonna do too much because I'm trying to keep this tutorial uh, really short. So what we're gonna do now is like I said, export this with transparency on. So we're gonna go to composition, pre-render. I'm gonna go to custom AVI, format, PNG sequence, Format option, make sure there's no compression. We're gonna do RGB plus alpha. That means RGB plus transparency. So make sure you click that, that's very important. Millions of colors is fine. Press okay and then save it. And we're gonna go back in After Effects after this thing renders. All right, so now that that's done rendering, let's go ahead and import our footage back in. Let's go to new folder. Gonna get my backdrop again because I opened a new After Effects file. And now we're gonna get that file we just rendered. So tutorial, cake man, comp, first one. Make sure it's PNG sequence, import. Now we're gonna right click that, interpret footage, main. We're gonna change the frames per second to 24 because this was shot at 24 frames per second. We're gonna drag and drop it into a new composition. And there is our footage. And as you can see, there's transparency, meaning that there's something in the back. And now what we're going to do is we're going to pre-compose this to so control shift C. We're going to uh, call this cake two. Boom. We're going to double click that composition and we're going to pre-compose this again. And we're going to name this cake three. Now that we have that thing pre-composed, what we're going to do now is create a new solid. So right click, uh, left click layer new solid, make it white, make comp size and put that behind the footage. And as you can see here, I should have masked that a little bit better, but that's fine. You can key yours a little bit better than mine. That's, that's totally cool. I just did a fast key. So, all right, so we're gonna do it like this. Um, it looks like he's already acting up. So probably right there. That's when we want him to disappear. So we're gonna go ahead and create that mask again like we did earlier. Rectangle shape, boom, 40. So now what we're gonna do is move this, start moving this file. I'm gonna create a keyframe here. I'm just shift clicking everything so it's selected. I'm gonna create a keyframe right there and then I'm gonna move all the way to the right of the timeline and I'm just gonna move this to the right. Right? And that should create an automatic keyframe right there. So now you have this mask just moving from left to right. Just like that, right? And I don't know, it looks really stupid, but that's just the first part. Uh, that's good to go. Okay, so now we're back in the original composition. All right, sorry, I right clicked that. So you should have something like this, like we already had in the pre comp. The next thing we're gonna do is go ahead and tick this checkbox right here, this little. 3D, making this layer 3D. Now we're gonna go to layer, new, solid, make comp size, we're gonna change it to black this time. Booyah. After that, we're gonna go to effect, RG trap code particular, and this is the plugin, really powerful plugin, it's amazing. We're gonna go ahead and twirl emitter. We're gonna go from emitter type point to layer, and that should open up layer emitter down, emitter down here. Layer, cake two, and we're gonna do still particle birth time, let's see what that does. There you go, it's starting to create stuff, you can see that white stuff. That's good. That's exactly what we want. All right, the next thing we're gonna do is just, um, let's see, are we gonna increase this a lot? Let's see what that does. And this is really when you finesse your, uh, what do you call this? This is when you finesse the actual particles. So you can take forever here if you want, but I'm just gonna keep it short for you guys so you can start messing around with this. Now, the smaller the velocity, the less you get. So for me, I think I had the velocity to five because it was really, you know, 
just like that. And the next thing you want to do is give it a little bit of gravity. So you go to physics, and if you go to gravity, let's do 20, so that it's actually falling down. Because in the movie, it was actually falling down, kind of like that, and then it was kind of going away. But like I said, particular here right now, this is when you make all the tweaks, and this is when you make the stuff pretty. So let's go to a particle, untroll particle, and we're going to go with, instead of sphere, we're going to go with mm, cloud maybe? Nah, that doesn't look good. Let's just do, let's just do sphere. That's fine. Looks really cool. And then we're just going to do the size of it. I don't know, it's up to you. I kind of, I like mine really small like that because it's just more, it's just finer. Okay, let's see, random seed, you can also adjust that around. It's just the randomness of it. All right. Next thing we're gonna do is go to cake two, copy this, unhide this. There. Crazy. Looks like I need more. So for the particle, we do boom. Oh my god! Look at that. That looks ugly, dude. Let's just do two hundred. Direction. Let's do directional instead of uniform. Let's give it some direction. There you go. All right. Now the gravity might be too strong. Let's see here. Let's just go to, let's give it a little bit of motion blur too. Let's go to rendering, go to motion blur. This is gonna make it better, go to on. Let's blur it a little bit. Now that looks like crap. And like I said, you just gotta fine tune it. If you go to full, maybe it'll render the real thing. See how it's taking forever, and this is just 1920, right? Yeah, that's that's not gonna do it. Let's just do that. Uh, really, we're just making this prettier, so it's up to you. Go ahead and mess around with it while I'm working on mine. There you go. I kind of want the life to be longer, actually. I want it to stick around a little bit more. There. And the velocity, I think I need to turn that up. The grabbing might be too much. Ooh, Jesus, that's a lot. Let's do 15. There you go. It's weird. Oh, let's see, direction, speed. What do you happens when you crank that? Yeah, let's just keep that at 20. Uh, velocity, there. Really, really mess it up like that. So let's see. There you go. That looks a little bit better, right? All right. So let's do like an even, even 60. And then the randomness will go to like 30. There's no set number, guys. It's really up to what you like and what we, you would like to do. Now, that's gonna be okay for us just so that we can move on because I have to show you the last part of this thing. Now, the next thing you're gonna wanna do is go back to your project. And you're gonna grab cake three. And you're gonna grab cake three and put that on top of cake two. And now you should have your footage of the regular stuff, right? And now what you're gonna do is create a mask again. Go Create a mask, create a rectangular, whatever you want to call this shape, mask, MM. That's going to take you to your mask settings, click on mask path. And we're also going to invert it. All right. And now what we're going to do is press T on the same layer. Okay, or not. What we're trying to get is just the opacity. So let's go to opacity. We change this to 50. All right. So he looks kind of like a ghost. And what we're gonna do is move this, animate this mask. So we're gonna start maybe right there. We're gonna do keyframe there. Boom, I'm gonna delete this one. 
And what we're going to do is just move it closer. <coughs> okay. Right. That's the start. We're going to move closer. We're going to watch his hand. You know what? Back up. I'm delete this again. I'm just creating a keyframe. One keyframe just right before he starts losing his hand. Here we go. Move forward. And you can kind of see why I did the opacity because you want a mask, you want to move the mask just right before it changes, right? So check this out. I'm gonna go back here. We're gonna move this side first. See that? You want it just in a sweet spot because you're gonna see why later. So move it so that you can't see, you can't tell the transition. You're gonna make it smooth. So move forward, move this. Okay, you can see the white. You don't never want to see the white because that's going to give away your trip. Here we go, moving on. Okay, just like that. And we're just pretty much going to work this throughout the whole way. Move it. Nope. Now, like I said in a previous video that I made, the way they did it was probably a 3D. If I had to bet my money on it, they were probably 3D because it looked a little bit better. But who knows? You know, they're professionals, they're Hollywood, and we're just a bunch of YouTubers trying to do the same thing. So for the sake of this, it's really not that bad. Um, but this is just with the plugin. So we're going to line it up. See how I'm missing my arm there? Let's do before that right before there keep going just right before whoops control Z just want to move the top part and I know it takes a while the rotoscope but it's worth it it's not too bad there you go there you go move forward and he is totally gone poor guy He's not even in the movies yet. He's already dead. He's Rice Man right here. I was going to make him turn into Rice, but I think that would be racist. I don't want to offend anyone. And we're just going to go all the way out. All the way out. Just finish it. Finish it all the way out. Okay. And fade to black. It's gone completely, right? Now, what we're going to do is go back to that layer, and we're going to make that opacity all the way out to 100 because he looks like a ghost right now. There you go. Now what I'm going to do is purge. I'm going to save it first, Control S, and I'm going to do a purge on my memory so we can do a, see, 46 gig. So we can do a pre-RAM preview here. And I know that looks like crap, but that's just because I did a quick uh, green screen, green screen keying here or keying. All right, computer, let's do this. Let's do the third. I'm gonna press B, so they're not re we're not rendering the whole exact the whole entire thing, and we're gonna press zero now in the keypad, and that's just gonna ramp preview it. You see those white lines? That's why I was telling you to rotoscope it as close to the edge as possible. But obviously that's not gonna work, so we're gonna fix that. See? Pretty cool. All right, so. Fastest way to fix this is highlight all your masks, right? We have to we should go back to the mask. Highlight all your keyframes and just move it to the right. And that should fix that problem. See, you don't see it anymore. Right? Okay, and then the second to last thing to do with this thing here, this tutorial, sorry, it's taking forever. It says drop your, uh, just drop your backdrop. And obviously, you know, you have to kind of, you know, size it right, give it a little bit of blur, camera blur, boom, just give it a little depth of feel there. And that's it. I hope you guys learned something new today. And I know it took forever, but it's totally, totally worth it, right? So here it goes. Is, that is great acting.